protecting the heavenly sword from the greed of mankind was an unforgiving life for the clan. We faced endless hardship and persecution, and knew that every step we took could be our last. I fought, and I killed, just as my father did, and his father too, because we knew that the day would come when our struggles could finally end. It was written that the Heavenly Warrior was destined to return. In the year of the Fire Horse, on the fifth day, he would reclaim his sword and lead mankind to salvation. Every generation they'd come, black-hearted warlords proclaiming themselves sent from heaven. And every generation our clan destroyed them. But few of us survived this age-long struggle, desperate to keep the sword safe until the day of the prophecy. Then at last, the time had come. The Heavenly Warrior would return in a divine birth, a boy savior to grow and lead us into an age of peaceful glory. I was there that night. I felt such emotion. So many I loved had sacrificed themselves for this one moment. And then, what I saw that night will haunt me until I die.